I'm going to describe how to use an interactive simulation that allows you to see graphically what partial molar volumes are for a binary non-ideal mixture. So the simulation looks like this. And what we're plotting is the molar enthalpy of the mixture, that's the blue line, versus the mole fraction of one of the components, A. So the notation is the HA is the pure component enthalpy per mole. HA bar is the partial molar enthalpy of component A in the mixture at this mole fraction of A. And then correspondingly for B, pure component enthalpy, partial molar quantity. The simulation allows you to adjust the nine ideal parameter and allows you to adjust the mole fraction of component A. So let's look at the simulation. So here's the interactive simulation. And you can see as I increase, for example, the mole fraction of A with the slider, you can see the partial molar quantity of A approaches the pure molar quantity of A as you expect as you get to pure A. And the partial molar quantity of B can deviate fairly significantly, particularly if we go to the higher mole fractions of A, the partial molar quantity is quite different from the molar quantity. Now, the simulation also allows negative deviations, in which case you'll notice that the partial molar quantity is smaller than the molar quantities for each of the components, and again, shows the same behavior otherwise. There are screencasts that explain the equations that result in drawing a tangent to a point at a given mole fraction in order to determine the partial molar quantities for that mixture. So the partial molar quantities are, are very dependent on the composition of the mixture, as you can see by varying this mole fraction.